Well, good morning, everybody. I'm in line here to get unloaded. That is the second truck. That's the third truck. I'm the fourth truck. And there's another fifth truck outside waiting to get in here once there's space. So what happens is once he's unloaded, he backs out the door there. This guy moves into his spot. I stay here. The next guy outside, once this guy is out, drives in and parks along that wall over there. And then when he's over here and done unloading, then I go into the center and get unloaded there. So that's, that's the process. We should be unloaded here within an hour. It shouldn't take too long. Everybody's got their tarps off already. And the guy here who unloads is awesome. He's a great guy. I love working here with him and uh, he's really quick. So once I'm unloaded, I will uh, call into work and see what the new plan is. Check this out. Look at these cars. No way. They're like some kind of car show in town. There's another two coming over there. I gotta turn the truck off for this. Look at this. Oh, they're all going into the gas station over there. Look at that thing. Brainerd, Minnesota. What's going on? That is so cool. Huh. <laughs> I'm glad I caught that on camera. Oh, there's another old beetle coming. I don't know if he's part of the car show. Oh yeah, there's more coming. There's a bit of newer. Is this like a parade? Gotta get out for this. What's going on? See, look at this guy. That's not a beetle. Sorry, I apologize. What is that thing? Another blue car coming over here. Let's see what's going on. They're all lined up over there. Oh, there's more coming. I don't know what's going on, but this makes me so happy. There's more. Wow, look at that one. Stopping right here in front of me. <laughs> this just made my day. I'm gonna go talk to them. I had to go back to my truck and get my wallet and my phone. I was so excited that I saw all these cars. I jumped out and dropped my phone on the floor of the truck. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a coffee from in this gas station and use that as an excuse to go look at all these cars. Look at this guy here. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Just a random meetup at a gas station? Look at this thing. It looks brand new. Wow. Oh. So this is a 26. I was just talking to the owner. They're part of a club. They're going up to Grand Rapids for a show. Look at that. Just mint. It looks beautiful. I was talking to another guy here. 
uh, who's driving one of these. Uh, said the car was 98 years old. I believe it's that, that other one up there. Look at that. It looks like it just rolled off the production line. He's got like a, a hand horn. You reach out your window to honk there. 99 years old. And it looks like it just rolled off the production line. Look at this. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's got a little hand horn up there as well. See that? No way. Oh, that just made my day. Got my coffee. Had a nice chat with those guys there. Nicest group of guys. What a great way to start the day. I think he said there was 14 of them that were driving. And uh, I think they would have had closer to triple that, but a lot of the guys uh, didn't want to drive because they were expecting rain, possibly, later this afternoon. So a lot of them, I guess, had it in their trailers or something. But uh, these guys, they were all driving down or up to Grand Rapids from here for uh, a fair of some kind or car show. So if you guys were at that Grand Rapids show, let me know if you saw those cars, because I saw them on their way there going through Brainerd. And the nicest guys. I went and talked to him for about 20 minutes there. I have some time. I have a reload, but it's re it's tomorrow. I, I have to drive a couple hours down the road, reloading in Nicolette, Minnesota tomorrow. Uh, so I had some time. So I went there and talked to them, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, one guy was that I showed you there, the car that was 99 years old. He was going over it with me and showing me all of the original parts that he had on it. Those headlights were from 1914. They were manufactured in 1914. Uh, they still have the original uh, stamp on it. Uh, let's see if I can get you out of the wind here. There we go. Uh, the interior, most everything was original. Uh, obviously, he has restored some things. The bumper on it wasn't original because they didn't start putting uh, bumpers on the Model T's till 1927 or 26, he said. And that was a 23. But he found it uh, somewhere, bought it, and installed it on his car there. That was the rear bumper I believe he was talking about. He didn't want to be on camera, but he gave me permission to film his car and his friends there uh, uh, let me film their cars there. And it was, it was, uh, I don't know. I I'm all happy now. We're going to have a good day. We're going to have a good day. So now we all know. I didn't know this about myself either, but you know, you learn things about yourself every day. Now I know. All it takes to make you super happy first thing in the morning and to help you have a great day is just a parade of classic cars. You know, I always joke about whenever I want to go on the road and I'm on the Truman Show, right? It's, I always wait until there's no traffic on the road. Like here, I'm parked near the near the highway here, right? Like, here, come, come. Like, I'm parked near this road here, right? And there's, there's not too much traffic. I'm going to have to go down that way. So what I'll do is I'll sit right here where I'm parked, out of the way, and I'll wait till there's no traffic on the road. Then, once I'm like, okay, no one's on the road, I'll start the truck up, I'll put it in gear. Go around the corner, stop at the road, look, suddenly just cars galore, rush hour, right? Happens every time. And I always say, oh, look, I'm just in time for the parade, just for Trucker Josh. I don't like those parades, but this, if it was a parade of classic cars, man, you can't complain about that, especially when the owners are in such good moods. Like, who wouldn't be in such a good mood driving one of those down the road? They were all so friendly and so happy. Most people are that I meet on my travels. Most people are happy people. It's the, the miserable people. They're very noisy. They're usually in the cities too. You go to the cities and you start meeting people that just seem to not be happy with life. It's almost like living in a big metropolis is just not natural to humans. Like living in a concrete jungle just doesn't seem natural. It's people just, there seems to be stress, anxiety, emotions are always running high. But that's besides the point. I don't want to turn this into a rant about cities. But I stick to mostly small towns, right? It seems that my pickups, deliveries, usually are in the small rural areas 
of Canada and the United States. And I like it that way because I prefer rural areas. I prefer small towns. Nothing against big cities. They're fun to go visit. Exciting. They got all the exciting lights and buildings and stuff, right? But if I had to choose, if someone gave me like a million dollars, I'll need more than that nowadays. If someone gave me $10 million and said, you go buy a house wherever you want to buy a house. You, know, you could buy a condo in a city in a skyscraper. You could buy a cottage out on the lake. I'll pick the lake every single time. Even if there's no lake, anywhere outside the city, in the middle of a field, I'll pick it every time. But that's, I'm getting into different topics here anyway. Uh, my, my point is that I meet a lot of really cool people on my travels and today was one of those days. I'm gonna swing by St. Cloud Pilots. Take the entrance to the ride on I-94 East and then change to the left at 640 meters. Interstate 94, we're going underneath, we're facing southbound, we're going to go around the loop and point our nose eastbound. We'll go a few miles up the road to exit 171. St. Cloud's got the cheapest juice. $3.19 US per gallon. Meters, keep to the left on I-94. The Loves, just down the road to the west of here, their price, $3.59 per gallon. It's like 40 cents a gallon more. That's with our discounts through our fuel card network. So St. Cloud, you once again win my business. I've got just below half tanks of fuel. I don't really need to fuel up right now, but I have the time today so I don't load until tomorrow morning. It's noon. And I've got like another hour of driving to do, so plenty of time today. We're gonna stop, grab some fuel, grab a take shower. Five kilometers. Take CR7, CR75, Augusta. We clean ourselves up a bit. And then we'll go down. I can uh, go down and park right at the shipper and be ready for them at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Give me some juice. Give me some go-go juice. Some cheap juice. I hope there's gonna be some parking here. I hate parking at this place. Cause it's just chaos and I don't trust anybody not to hit me. But I need a shower. And this is the place where I can get a free shower cause I can buy fuel and get a free shower then. And this is the place with the cheapest fuel. I'm gonna buy fuel here. I could go and shower at a different pilot, but there's no other pilot you have arrived at your destination nearby. On the left side. Pilot Travel Center. I'm hoping it's like 12.30 in the afternoon right now. I'm just hoping that there'll be like one decent spot open for me to quickly park in, run inside, have a quick shower, and run back out and get out of here before someone backs into me. That's my hope. This far fuel island here. That way there's nobody in front of me. I should be able to find somewhere to park here. I just, like I said, it makes me nervous parking in this lot. It's it's a gong show every day, all day. We'll see what happens. Let's get our fuel first. We'll worry about the rest after. That's an electric bus right there on the left. Central Ohio Transit Authority. That bus is going all the way to Ohio from here. That's going to take a long time because it's got to probably stop and charge every 100 miles. wonder how long it takes to charge a bus like that just to go 100 miles. If that. I mean, it's a city bus, right? So it, it's probably got a very low range. From what I've researched, those city buses have pretty low ranges when they're electric. And he's going all the way to Ohio from Minnesota. That's, wow. Hope you're getting paid by the hour, buddy. You guys are not going to believe this. I got the primo spot. The driveway's right there, so I could back straight in here. And anybody backing in, well, there's already a guy here and a guy there. But if this guy leaves, someone has like a straight shot back. And for this one too, someone can get pretty much a straight shot back into the spot right beside me. This is the spot you want to be in in a lot like this. 
where people have the easiest possible time backing in beside you. Doesn't mean they still won't hit you. Believe me, never put it past someone to do something incredibly dumb. Especially in a truck stop parking lot, but at least reduce the risk of it as much as you can. So this is perfect. I'm gonna go in and have a shower and uh, not have to stress out and worry about someone backing into my truck. I think I'll be okay here. I hope. I mean, I mean that's as good as it gets. That was just straight up luck. Someone must have just left. Thank the Lord. Look at me, look at me. All cleaned up. Ready to present myself to the shippers tomorrow morning to load my freight and head back to Canada. Always want to look good when you show up to your shippers. If you can possibly have a clean truck, it's not always possible to have a clean truck because of the climate we live in. Clean truck, if possible. Showered, clean, smelling good. You should always make sure you smell good when you go into a shipper or a receiver. Go in there, pick up the freight, tie it down, and we'll head back. I gotta deliver that into a town called Bozager, Manitoba on Friday. So what's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow morning, go home for the night, because it's just like an hour from my house. Go home for the night and then early in the morning go and deliver it and see if they got anything else for me after that because I'd like to keep working. I want the money. Give me the money. We'll see what happens. It really is kind of a shame giving up this parking spot. Uh, but I don't want to stay here overnight. <laughs> oh, there's a truck coming. Truck coming from our right. I wonder if he wants me to go out so that he can back in here. Maybe not. Maybe not. I, I, I made it clear that I was leaving because I rolled forward about four feet. I guess he's leaving too. Okay. There we go. Onward. Let's get out of here. This guy here, uh, this good sir with his rear tandem slid all the way to the back of his trailer. Makes cornering so nice in these tight parking lots. It's parked in the driveway. That is okay, I can still get through. This guy on the left, on the right here, I saw him before, he's only got two straps holding down each vehicle. Two two inch straps, one on the back tire on this side, and one on the front tire on the other side. No chains, nothing else. Just two two inch straps holding each of those vehicles down. Whew! I wouldn't move that across the parking lot. That can't be compliant. I, I can't, that, that can't be real. <laughs> yeah, he came in here like that. I was watching him like, as I was walking back from my shower, he'd rolled in and I was like looking at his load securement, trying my best to mind my own business and not judge others, but you know us truckers, I judged him. Uh, I did, I did. I was looking, I was looking at him hard. What are you doing, buddy? You trying to kill somebody? Yikes. And then I watched him try to park for like 20 minutes. That was uh, meters, an event. Turn right on 43rd Street South and then turn left in 180 meters. And I did my best once again not to judge. But it was hard, I'll tell you. It was hard. That one I didn't judge as hard because, you know, it's a tight parking lot. I get it. Sometimes you're just having a bad day and can't get it in the spot. Okay. No problem. But that loads. Ah, oh, man. Two two inch straps. No chains. Nothing. Ah, just freaked me out. I don't know. Freaked me out that I'm going down the same highway. In no. 100 meters, turn left on the Great River Road, CR7, and then take the entrance to the right into 190 meters. Okay, let's get back out there. I have another about hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes 
to Nicolette, Minnesota, where we will pick up our freight and do our best to tie it down in a way that we don't get judged at the truck stop. <laughs> For 200 meters, take the entrance to the ride on I-94 West. You shouldn't judge others, Trucker Josh. I know. It's, I'm human, okay? I'm not perfect. Don't look at me like you wouldn't have done the same thing. Apparently that's when they get here. 6 a.m. So they'll probably start working by what? 6.30 maybe? Maybe they'll start working right away? I don't know. Usually, you know, 6 a.m. is when you get here. You get everything set up. They'll probably tell me where to go. Maybe they'll get me backed inside because I got to load inside the building over there. Get me in there. Get all their stuff together. Get my load to the truck. Get it all staged there. 6.30. Maybe I can be out of here. It takes quite a bit to load. It takes quite a few hours. So maybe I can get out of here by 9.00. That would be great, because then I could be home for supper, possibly, close to supper. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Tune in to find out. I'll be here. I hope you're here, too. I make new videos every day. If you're new to this channel and this is the very first video you've watched of mine, leave a comment down below and let me know that. And everybody go ahead and welcome them down below. 
we're a big community here. I've been making videos almost every day for about 13, 12, 13 years. You can go to my playlist on my main page there, click my username below, see all the videos I've made since the very beginning. We're working on video 3141 right now, so there's a lot to catch up on. And you wanna make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up. This is the story of my life. I'm Trucker Josh, I drive a truck, but I'm also a whole lot more than that. So there's a lot, of, a lot of content that doesn't involve trucking as well. I just got off two weeks of holidays. Lots of holiday content there, now we're back in the truck. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's an overall view of my life through my eyes and through my lens. So you're welcome to join. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you don't miss it when I upload. I usually upload at 4 p.m. Central Time every day. And uh, it'd be great to have you as part of the team here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Drive safe out there.